Welcome back to another episode of NFL Playoff Predictions. Last time we did week 15, today we'll be doing week 16. Before we jump in, I do guys want to say I'm very sorry for week 15 getting out really late. Uh, just some uploading schedule uh, difficulties happened, but basically... Here's how week 15 turned out. I got most of them correct for the AFC with the Ravens and Patriots dominating. The Chiefs winning a very fun snow game. The Bills winning again to the playoffs. Here are two I got incorrect. The Texans won a huge game against Tennessee. And the Jaguars won the last one. The Raiders last game in Oakland. This is the Raiders last game in Oakland before they moved to Vegas. Speaking of possible last games, Eli Manning. Maybe won his last game as a New York Giant at home. That's when I got incorrect. The Cardinals, Vikings, and Saints all won, which are three uh, games I got correct. Drew Brees now has the most clear touchdown passes. Exciting for him. And you see here we had the Buccaneers winning. The Packers winning a very fun game. Seattle, Philly winning. But here are two surprises. Well, this one was the Falcons beating the Niners. A very exciting ending. And then... The Cowboys being the Rams, really dominating them. So now, guys, we jump into Week 16. By the way, I got both the Falcons and Cowboys games incorrect. So I got about um, uh, five games incorrect. So now, this is the final week for AFC versus NFC games and outer division games. As we jump ahead here to Week uh, 17, as you'll see here in a second, Week 17... It's just all division games. So this is kind of the last week of having these, you know, kind of outer conference, outer division games. So let's begin here on Saturday. I'm actually record, um, uploading this and recording this as the Texans-Buccaneers game is happening, but the Bills, Patriots, and Rams, and Niners games have not happened. So let's begin in the AFC. We have the Ravens taking on the Browns. If the Ravens win, they automatically get the number one seed in the AFC. I believe they'll win. They're one of the best teams in the NFL right now. The Browns are just very messy. I think it'll be close because division games are pretty close. But I think the Ravens win. Raiders, Chargers. Phil Rivers has been very up and down this season. Both teams have been. But for me, I think the Raiders are going to win. I like I think they've been playing a bit better. I know they lost to Jacksonville, but I think they'll re rebound here, and I think they'll. I think they have a better roster. I think they'll be able to control the game of Josh Jacobs, and I think the Raiders will win. Bengals, Dolphins here. I'm gonna go with Miami. Um, I think Miami will win their fourth game of the season. I think they're a bit better than their record. The Bengals are just not a great team. Probably gonna have the number one overall pick. I think Miami wins. Steelers Jets, Le'Veon Bell against his former team. I'm gonna go with the Steelers. I know they lost to Buffalo, but their defense, man, is really good. I think this will be a really close game. Both offense kind of struggling, but then I think the Steelers defense. I think you know one team's gonna step up. It's gonna be Pittsburgh. Their defense is gonna get it done and beat the Jets. They're close to the postseason. I think this is gonna be a game where that Steeler passion just and that team and that defense just really balls out to get them a win that helps them go to the playoffs and then the one side of the game here is the Bills Patriots I really want the Bills to win I think they will I think it will be a close tough division game uh they've looked really good on defense and the Patriots have been struggling a little bit recently so I have Buffalo getting a huge win all right guys the final week for AFC versus NFC games here well, I mean, the Super Bowl is technically an AFC versus NFC game, but regular season, AFC versus NFC games, it begins with Detroit Lions against the Denver Broncos. For me, I'm going to go with the Broncos. Um, I know they lost to Kansas City, but I've been impressed with Drew Locke. Lions on the third string quarterback. I think the Broncos are the better team here. I like their defense, what they've been able to do on offense with Cortland Sutton. I, I just like the Broncos here more, and I think they'll get a win. Texans Buccaneers. I'm gonna go with the Texans. I don't know the corn score of the game, but even before this, I'll probably choose Houston just because Mike Evans is out. I think this will be a very fun game. Deshaun Watson, Jameis Winston, two teams that have been very electrifying. I know Houston's been up and down this season, but I, I just like the team a bit more here. I think it'll be a fun game. Panthers Colts. I was gonna go all indie. 
I really like this team with Jacoby Brissett, Darius Leonard, who made the Pro Bowl. But I just have a feeling the Panthers are going to win this one. Will Greer, the rookie quarterback, is starting to bench in Kyle Allen. And for me, I just think Will Greer is a rookie. He's going to do some good things. And I think Christian McCaffrey is really the difference maker here. I, I just really like the Panthers going into this matchup. They've been close in games this season against teams like the Packers and Seahawks. And I think the Panthers are going to win this game against Indy. I think it'll be close. I think it'll be entertaining. But I think the Panthers will win. Jaguars. Falcons here. Ooh, this is a tough one because the Falcons have looked better, but you know, if Gardner Minshew and the Jaguars have looked decent as well. I I want to go with the Falcons. I I, I want to say Atlanta, but I could see Jacksonville kind of getting those last second wins. I, I think actually they'll win. I could see this game going either way. The Jaguars defense isn't great, and the Falcons offense has been good this year, but I don't know, it seems like Gardner Minshew finds those ways to win. And then Saints-Titans. I think this is going to be a really great game. I think it'll be close, but Drew Brees in this offense. I mean, Michael Thomas has been amazing. And I just think they're going to win this game. I think that's going to be close. Ryan Tannehill, Derrick Henry. Henry. This team's going to battle it out. But I think the Saints are going to be the winners. I think it's going to be... We've seen Drew Brees be clutch this season. I think it's going to be another clutch performance by Drew Brees. And I think the Saints are going to win a really good game. Sunday night here. Chiefs Bears, I think that um, the Chiefs are going to win. Patrick Mahomes has looked really good this year, and the Bears' offense has struggled. Alrighty, the third Saturday game here as we get into NFC games Rams Niners. I know the Niners lost, but they're still one of the best teams in the NFL and the NFC. The Rams are looking, uh, they're looking good with a shoulder against Dallas. I think the Niners are going to win this one. Giants Redskins. Dwayne Haskins has been improving every week. And I think he's going to win. You know, the Redskins were close to being the Eagles, and I think they'll get the home win here. Cowboys-Eagles, huge game for the NFC East. If the Cowboys win, they have the, they have locked down the division. If the Eagles win, they keep that division alive for them. I'm an Eagles fan, but I'm going to go with the Cowboys. Eagles only have one healthy wide receiver, or they have two, Greg Ward and J.J. Sega Whiteside. The Cowboys, Zika Elliott seems to always be an issue for the Eagles. Um, they can't stop him. The, the Cowboys are just a better team, better roster, and I think they'll win. I will be shocked if the Eagles win. I, I hope they do, but I think Dallas could win by a lot. Cardinals, Seahawks, Kyle Murray versus Russell Wilson Part 2. The Cardinals have looked better since these last two teams have met. I still think Seattle's going to win, but I think it'll be a very entertaining high-scoring game between two division foes. And then Packers-Vikings, Dalvin Cook is ruled out. I want to go with Minnesota because Kirk Cousins has been playing really good, and so is his defense. But without Dalvin Cook, do I trust Alexander Madsen? I don't know. I I think it'll be close. Oh, man. I'm going to go with the Vikings. I know Cook is injured. I just think this team can get it done. And those guys are my Week 16 predictions. We only have one more week before we get into the postseason exciting times. Um, So my upsets, I think I have the, the Bills. Jaguars as kind of my upsets here of the week. So let me know what you guys think. This is Matamon doing a lot. I'll see you.